This one is ball in the air, okay? The near hand up, ball in the air. It's a drill that we, we, we use if you're a slant angle, if you got corners coming off the edge, you got inside backers, or particularly this is for any outside rusher. Could be a corner coming off the edge, outside linebacker with a, st with a stunt, whatever it may be. But we like, like to create a drill where you see up here, these are bags, all right? Agile bags or pop-up bags, okay? They're five yards apart, okay? Your outside guys, again, corners, outside backers, whatever it might be, they're outside. And what we're doing here is the departure angle or the entry angle of the guy that's coming on the blitz allows him to get in and then establish a near hand throwing lane. And we'll talk about what a near hand throwing lane looks like. So you could have a blitz where a guy's one gap inside, close to the quarterback. Or you could have a blitz or a stunt where the guy is two gaps inside. What that does, it changes the angle and where the quarterback's gonna have the ball. Now we always talk about when the quarterback receives the ball and he drops back, if I'm a right-handed quarterback, Okay, we we'll always talk about if you're an inside uh, pass rush guy or an outside pass rush guy, it depends on where, where you're located in terms of the quarterback's shoulder. One yard to the upfield shoulder, we talk about outside contained guy. If you're an inside rush guy, then you're an inside, you're, you're at the, uh, the, the breastplate, all right, of the shoulder. Uh, and if you're another inside guy, then you're at the back breastplate part here of the shoulder and then if the shoulder blade and then if you're outside contained guy you're one yard to the upfield shoulder but for the purpose of this drill and creating throwing lanes and understanding where you're going these guys we do a drill where they're coming inside so you might have a blitz you call the blitz guy comes one gap inside so if he comes one gap inside I'll kind of try to demonstrate it with Daryl here as he steps into the screen okay so Daryl's outside here and I'm the, I'm the quarterback all right so I'm the quarterback the bags are either here and here. They're five yards apart. I know we're in a condensed space right here, so we're just trying to give you the idea. If Daryl would just go in the inside, inside bag right there first, and as he gains on the quarterback, it depends on is he an outside contained rusher or is he an inside guy? Because after he makes his move, and I'm a, I'm a quarterback, if he's an outside contained guy, then I, he wants to make sure he's one yard to the upfield shoulder. So if I were to throw the ball, then the hand that would be affected by getting the ball would be the near hand where he is right here. Okay? Everybody understand that. All right? So if he were making the stunt, let's say now he's going two gaps inside and he becomes an inside rusher. He does the same thing. Now he's two gaps inside. Now he's changed his trajectory. He's changed which hand may go up in terms of if the ball's being threatened. Now it's the hand, the near hand that's near the quarterback is the hand that goes up. So we went from... If you're the outside contain rush, let's do it again, Daryl. You're the outside contain rush, you make the move, and the quarterback looks, all right, and then he looks out here to the outside here. If it's not that hand, then it becomes the near hand that's up, all right, if you're the outside contain guy, okay? Now, now if you're two gaps to the inside, and you know that you already have an outside contain guy, the quarterback's here, now the mirror hand that's nearest to the throwing arm of the quarterback, all right, is either where he's looking here, or if he's looking here, then that's the mirror hand. It's critically important. So I'm going to turn my back here, and then Daryl will get in front of me. Okay? All right? So watch my head, and Daryl will, the near hand to where my eyes and where my arms motioning to throw the ball is the one that goes up. So we'll do it, we'll do it twice. Okay? All right? So the first one, I'm dropping back, and I'm looking here. So hand, boom, right here. Let's flip it around. Let's flip it around. All right? I want to look at the camera. Same thing. All right? As I'm dropping back and I'm looking here, the near hand that goes up is that hand right there. One more time. If I'm dropping back, the near hand that goes up and I'm looking here is this hand right here. Too many times players rush the quarterback and they throw a hand up or they throw two hands up. They don't know where the ball is. So that's one of those drills that we try to incorporate on that.